desperate dog trapped outside in 100 degree heat resorts to extraordinary measures to survive. Although you may not see them, stray and abandoned dogs roam the streets of almost every city in the United States. Eldad Hagar and the Hope for Paws team of Los Angeles, California does everything that it can to help rescue these struggling animals. However, it isn't always easy. When they received a call about a dog roaming around the desert in California, they knew that they had to take action. Although they were used to difficult rescues, they had no idea just how dire the situation really was. Would all their hard work even be worth it in the end? At the Los Angeles-based organization Hope for Paws, Eldad Hagar was used to the challenges that come with rescuing stray dogs. Even though these animals needed help, they were often scared, injured, and panicked by the very idea of interacting with humans. That's why Eldad wasn't surprised when he got a call about a female white German Shepherd roaming around the desert who'd managed to escape those trying to help her for days. He drove out to the location to see her condition for himself. The dog appeared to be limping, and she was clearly struggling in the 100 degree desert heat. In fact, she was so thirsty that she didn't think twice before diving into a roadside puddle to drink potentially contaminated water. An anonymous stranger who'd first called Eldad and his team said that this was the closest she'd ever been to the dog. It was true. If it weren't for the lure of water, the dog would have run off instinctively in order to protect herself. Eldad's team tried to approach the dog by luring her with food, but she wouldn't budge. She was covered in dirt and they were worried that she was ill from drinking the water. They couldn't tell for sure, however, because she just wouldn't let them near. Eventually, the team realized that they needed to call for reinforcements if they were going to rescue this dog before the sunset and the desert chill set in for the evening. They'd tried every approach in their arsenal to get close to her, except for one. The team decided to call a local mobile veterinary clinic. This hospital on wheels would have everything needed to care for the dog, and it was staffed by a veterinarian who could sedate her with a tranquilizer gun so that she could be treated. The problem would be getting close enough to get the shot. It was tricky at first, but eventually they were able to lure her close to the car by tossing food from its windows. Once she was close enough, the veterinarian took aim and struck her with a tranquilizer. But this dog still had some fight in her. She was so terrified that she bolted away, running through the desert terrain for more than two minutes before the drugs finally took effect and she collapsed on the ground. Now that she was asleep, the team was able to really get a look at the beautiful dog. She was so stunning that they decided to name her after the Roman goddess of love, Venus. But could they help provide Venus with the care she needed in time? Or was it too late? Using a blanket, they were able to transport Venus to the mobile clinic. The veterinarian conducted a complete physical on the dog to see how bad her condition truly was. He was surprised to find out that she seemed to be in relatively good health. Although she was in better shape than one expected, Venus still needed their help. As they guessed from her desperate lapping at the muddy puddle, she was terribly dehydrated. Venus had to receive fluids through an IV drip. Thankfully, once she was properly hydrated, Venus began to slowly wake up. Eldad and his team knew that driving back to Los Angeles would take all night, so they decided to rent a hotel room in the hopes of giving Venus more time to recover. They transported Venus to the hotel room easily, and if the groggy pooch was afraid of her surroundings, she certainly didn't show it. The rest of the team left for the night and Eldad and Venus were on their own. At 3 a.m., Eldad woke up to a strange sound. He turned on the light and saw that Venus had jumped up on the hotel room desk. She gazed at him curiously, and Eldad decided it was time to start building a bond of trust between them. Eldad carefully reached out his hand to pet the beautiful dog, and this time she didn't run away. It was as if she finally understood that these particular humans only wanted to help her. The next morning, Venus was all smiles as Eldad put her in the car and drove her back to Los Angeles. No longer would she have to suffer a hard life scrambling just to get a drink of water under the boiling desert sun. It was truly a day of pampering for this pooch. Venus finally got a bath and even a blueberry-scented doggy facial. Not too shabby for a stray from the desert, right? And to think, just 24 hours earlier, she was too scared to come close to people. After her thorough washing down, Venus finally got some time to nap. 
It was an exhausting full day for both the team and for Venus. Now all she had to do was rest and wait to meet her new forever family.